catch fire on this one. Go figure. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas, and I am a regional flight attendant for those who do not know. Today I begin a five day trip. It's my second five day of the month of January, and I don't have any more after this, the rest of four days. Um, so as you can see, it is dark around me, so it's not early in the morning. This is a late report flight. And when I mean late, my flight does not leave out until 9, 13 p.m. Um, I'm going to Mobile, Alabama, which it's just the one flight and I'm done. So I lose an hour in a sense because they're in central time. So that is why I report late, but my trips do not end late. Yeah, they don't end late. And also the city of Atlanta is getting ready for snow. That is supposed to not flurries, not possibilities. It's at a 100% chance of snow tomorrow. So I have to see how that affects me, even though my flight does not leave until in the afternoon tomorrow. So we'll just see what happens. And so, and it's an hour until I'm supposed to report anyway, so I got time. So I'm just gonna take my time, sit in the car and kind of decompress and get my mind ready for uh, this flight, listen to some music, and I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Mobile. Hello everybody, so I've just made it here to Mobile. This one flight was pretty much easy. We didn't do a service because um, expected weather and turbulence, even though it wasn't that bad, but the captain told us to sit down for the remainder of the flight. So we sat down for the entire flight. The only incident that we did have, somebody that was sitting next to me in the back because I was working the back, he got a little too hot, even though we told the captain to cool it down, he still was kind of overheated a little bit. Just gave him a pack of ice and a cup and two bottles of water. You know, it worked perfectly fine. But other than that, that's it. I'm not even sleepy right now. And I'm gonna call this trip a fake five day because I only worked the one leg here and it was a late flight. So technically this is a fake five day trip that I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go actually work out to see if I can burn some energy off and then try to lay down because I don't have a, a van time. It's not until two o'clock in the afternoon, so. We're gonna see what we can do, but I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Also, that's what I meant to tell you guys. What I'm gonna start doing is going back to planning my trips on places that I want to go because a lot more places are trying to open up or allow US citizens in as tourists. So I'm gonna start back doing that so I can possibly be doing that during this trip as well. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me, how do I plan this trip? And I don't know if I should make a video on how I plan my trips as a flight attendant. If you all would like to see that video, let me know in the comment section, you know, and I might make a video and show you the things that I do as far as when I plan my trips and how I plan those trips. So, um, but other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for day two. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back on this gloomy Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm here in Mobile as I was last night. It's a little windy. The weather in Atlanta, it is snowing, but I haven't heard of any delays or anything like that. Um, as far as coming into Atlanta, I didn't think the snow would stick on the actual surface because it hasn't been below freezing in Atlanta probably in like two or three weeks. So everything has been above freezing and it's above freezing now. So nothing is freezing to the ground or probably sticking to the ground. But we shall see once we land. February schedule came out and my schedule is nothing like I bid for. The only thing that I actually got was not to work any international flights. I have uh, two 200 flights, which y'all know I do not like 200s. So I'm gonna try to drop that today. And there's a trip where I don't get finished. I don't go home day until like after eight o'clock. Y'all know I don't do that either. And um, there's another trip in there where I think I finished at like five o'clock and who wants to finish in the middle of rush hour in Atlanta, Georgia, not me. So today I'm gonna try to finesse a lot of things and um, hopefully people will drop things that they don't want and I can actually pick them up um, and see if we can work our magic today. Um, I just have this one leg from Mobile to Atlanta then I did head to Memphis and I'm done by 6.30 uh, this afternoon back in Central Standard Time. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Memphis. Hello, everybody. 
right, so I've made it here to Memphis finally. Um, the icing took a long time. So they extended our rest, well, not our rest, our report time, three whole minutes. Um, like, crew schedule was like, yeah, we noticed that you got in a little bit late, so we wanted to give you a little bit more rest. Don't do that. Three minutes is pretty much nothing. We still gonna get up at the same exact time. But tomorrow's a longer day. Um, this was originally a 10 and a half hour layover, so it got reduced to like nine and a half. Um, so what I'm finna get, do is get ready, go to bed, and uh, get ready to get up at 3.30 in the morning. We do have a 4.45 van. And I'll see you guys tomorrow um, for day three. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to day three. Um, I'm in Memphis. It's early. It's cold on this plane. This plane has been sitting and it wasn't connected up to any air or anything like that. Um, last night I slept okay. Um, today is a longer day. I have four legs, I believe it is. I go from Memphis to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Burlington, Vermont, Burlington, Burlington, Vermont, back to LaGuardia. And then I go to Charlottesville, Virginia. And then I'm done about five o'clock. Today on this flight, we're very, very, very light. I think it's like 10 people max on this flight. So this is gonna be a long three hour flight. Um, not for sure if there's any weather in um, New York or in Charlottesville that's gonna hinder us, but it is LaGuardia, so you can always expect a longer taxi. But um, I'm finna get ready, we're finna get ready and board, and I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Charlottesville. Hello everybody, so I finally made it here to Charlottesville. Excuse the hat, it's cold in here. Walked in here, it's 61 degrees. They didn't have the heat running. It's cold outside. Today was a day of a doozy. It's, what, 8.32. I've been up, I had my report time at 5.15 this morning. Got delayed in Burlington. We de-iced. First of all, we left LaGuardia late. We left Memphis late. And we got to when we got to uh, Burlington, we had to de-ice because it was snowing really, really hard. So, you know, we was already late. So we pushed back, get ready to try to de-ice. The little tug that actually pushes us back got stuck to the plane. It was frozen. So they had to, took them about 10 minutes to get that unthawed and get us unhooked so we could de-ice. So we finally de-ice. Then we start taxiing out. For some reason, we were just holding because our time got pushed back or whatever because of the the frozen tug on the plane. So as we're waiting, this guy gets up and comes to the back to me, and I'm telling you know I have to sit down. So he shows me his badge. He's a pilot for another airline. He said, "Hey, tell your captain you have snow and ice build up back on the wing." So I hit the captain up. Captain comes out the flight deck, looks, we go back to the gate. It took us maybe almost an hour to even whatever, figure out what happened, get new numbers, everything like that. Then finally get here. Do you think they took this turn away from me? No, they just delayed it two hours. I was supposed to be here five something, basically three hours ago and back on reduced rest again. They, I mean, they report our report time changed for an, um, an hour later, but yeah, <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a day today. Because even we were delayed coming out of LaGuardia just because of it's LaGuardia, the taxi time. So it's just been a day and I'm sleepy. I have a lot of things that I supposed to have done today that I still need to get done today. And I'm not going to sleep no time soon because I need to get it done today. So that was my day in a nutshell. The life of a flight attendant is not so glamorous all the time. Um, I know that sounds cliche, but that's the truth of it and i'm not going to take any clothes off until i feel this heat warm up this whole entire room so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning once i get up for day four good morning everybody today is day four it's almost go home day um i got about six and a half hours of sleep if maybe six to five and a half hours of sleep and yeah it still wasn't enough for me from yesterday um it was a struggle getting up this morning but we're gonna push through it today i have a four leg day four leg day I go from Charlottesville to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Albany, um, New York, back to LaGuardia, then LaGuardia to Charlotte. I'm supposed to get to Charlotte around like four something today. Um, I still got to finish doing some things that I need outside of work and for work because I forgot that I have current. Well, it slipped my mind and I was watching Mortal Races 
videos and she was doing recurrent. Me and her were hired during the same month. Obviously, she's been here two years longer than me. And she reminded me that I have to do LMSs before my recurrent on the 4th of February. So I have to do that. And yeah, just seemed like it's not enough time in the day. But you know, I can get it done. It's, it is what it is. But I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Charlotte. We're praying for no delays, just the normal taxis in LaGuardia. And we can go about our day. So I'll see you guys once I get to Charlotte. So I finally made it to Charlotte. Today has been a long day, only because doing two days of reduced rest is not, yeah, it's not what's up. It's not it, because I've been fighting sleep all day, like trying not to fall asleep. And it's it's just been, it's been a lot. Let's just say that. But passengers were great. Um, this last flight from LaGuardia, we only had 13 people. Very low maintenance, didn't want anything. Everybody fell asleep. So it was pretty good. Um, tomorrow I have an early report. I have a 450 van tomorrow, but it's go home day. Tomorrow I have a two hour sit in Charlotte before I catch a deadhead. What I'm gonna do tonight is look at the flights from Charlotte to Atlanta just to see if there's anything early that we could possibly catch versus sitting for two and a half hours in Atlanta. Even if we get there like maybe, cause sometimes our company, if we get there within like 40 minutes, they won't book us but we can book ourselves and we're I'm gonna get on that flight. Trust me, I've done it before. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Um, um, we're still hiring. I just wanna put that out there. Um, it's a lot of airlines that are hiring right now, including main lines that are hiring, different main lines that are hiring. So if you're looking to get into this, go by all means, go apply, put your application in, cause you'll never know if you get the job if you don't put the bid in. But I'll see you guys in the morning for a go home day. It's a trip. It's a trip. It's five hours going on. Go figure. Good morning, everybody. As you can see from our little debacle earlier, the fire alarm went off. And if it wasn't go home day, yes, I would have said my rest was really, really reduced, even though it went off 30 minutes before my alarm was supposed to go off. Still, I wanted those 30 minutes and wasn't on fire. It smelled like somebody was hot boxing in the room. If you don't know what hot boxing is, um, look it up. Um, just look up Urban Dictionary, hot box. And it smelled like dirt too. And I was just like, come on y'all, y'all did all that for that. But um, dang, that threw me off. But what's today? I have three legs, let's go home day. Go from Charlotte to LaGuardia, LaGuardia back to Charlotte, then I did head from Charlotte to Atlanta, then I'm done for two days. Um, this five day reduced rest and fire alarms. That's basically all it is, reduced rest and fire alarms because I fell asleep super early last night and I slept all the way through. That's how tired, that's how I knew I was tired. If I fell asleep before nine o'clock and I didn't wake up until this fire alarm was going off, I was tired, like I was sleepy. But um, yeah, um, I'm trying to, get down to the van um, my cat my first officer he didn't leave the room so he just said everybody else was down there but he was just like y'all get to the airport whenever y'all get to the airport if we delayed we delayed because obviously the fire alarm went off and caused everybody to um go downstairs so it is what it is you know it's one of those things and i've never had a fire alarm go off on me in the middle of the night i've had a fire alarm go off like during the day ish part like i was in the shower and i was like i'm not finna run out there but booty naked so i just stayed in the room you know because uh and well i took my time to get dressed but first i didn't say stay in the room and as i was finna walk out the door the fire alarm stopped so that's the only my only experience with a fire alarm but i'll see you guys a little bit later on once i get to atlanta 
try to get myself together mentally as far as my, I'm still discombobulated, like as if I'm still in this sleep because I thought it was a dream when this alarm went off. So I'll talk to y'all guys a little bit later on. <laughs> Hello everybody is done finito fin whatever you want to say i'm done um my my deadhead flight was delayed for three hours i think don't know why didn't bother asking any questions so i listed myself on another airline one good thing about being a flight attendant we can list ourselves on certain airlines because we have reciprocal travel on said airline and it didn't cost me anything just the seats have to be available just like it would be on any other flight like even if it was for my company the seat have to be available um today's flight was very light three passengers going from charlotte to laguardia and 13 coming back from laguardia to charlotte so it was a very light day given all that happened this morning i guess you know they answered our prayers and said hey these people need a break but you know it's one of those things that happen the reduced rest the fire alarm going off in the middle of the night it's part of the job it's part of the lifestyle you just have to roll with the punches like i always say but i'm finna get ready and go home as always hug on the ones that you love tell the ones that you love that you love them i'm out